Hey there folks, I am the Mighty Plantain and you may or may not know this because I don't know if I've mentioned it before on camera, but I'm a big fan of cheesecake. Um, <laughs> so when I came across this in the store, I could not resist. This is a limited release sour from Smutty Nose. And this is their cherry cheesecake sour. Now I have to admit, I'm, I'm intrigued. Now a cherry sour, Okay, that makes sense, you know, but a cherry cheesecake sour. Now, we've seen milkshake IPAs, so I guess a cheesecake sour isn't outside the realm of possibility. I'm assuming there's lactose in here, which is what gives it some sort of creamy cheesecake type of character, but we'll find out. Uh, yep, <laughs> sour ale brewed with cherry puree and lactose. Uh, ABV is on the bottom. Oh, they must do this in limited batches, and so it comes out. Okay, this one's 5.5%. The ink's a little messy, but I checked one of the other cans prior to grabbing this one. So um, it looked effortless for me to know what it was. All right, so limited release. I don't know how long this will be available or where you can find Oh. Well, there's definitely plenty of cherry puree in there because it definitely has a nice uh, reddish color to it. So I don't know, this could go one of two ways. Um, you know, cherry cheesecake is awesome. I prefer strawberries on mine or better yet, a different, different flavored cheesecake like a peanut butter or maple. <laughs> Hang on, I got a story here. Um, very hazy, very, very effervescent. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there are a ton of little tiny bubbles coming up from the bottom of this. And it it honestly looks like cherry cheesecake. It's got that nice lighter off-white color down here where the light's really getting through, and then it turns into a darker pinkish, hmm, not necessarily cherry colored. I'd almost say more grapefruit, but anyway. You get the idea. It's at least got the color profile for a cherry cheesecake. Um, but no, uh, <laughs> there's a local restaurant around here called the, the Proper Pig, and I think I've mentioned them in previous videos. If you get a chance, you're in the central main area, check them out. They're in Waterville. That place is amazing. They have some great burgers, sandwiches, um, <laughs> the smoked meat trio awesome. It's their brisket, pulled pork, and ribs. Oh my fucking word. Oh, even on special, it's like 30-something bucks, but it is worth every penny. Anyway, um, proper pick, Waterville, Maine. Their dessert is a maple bacon cheesecake, and it's basically a maple cheesecake. They put a slice of bacon on top. It's amazing. And my mother, I know, I know, I'm going off on a tangent here. We will get back to the beer soon. Um, my mother, for every every year for our birthdays, it's, you know, oh, what do you want for a cake? What do you want for a cake? And she's good at making cheesecakes. She's very good. And she's always been able to find a recipe for something. Oh, well, hey, how about this caramel cheesecake? How about this peanut butter cheesecake? You know, I've done that a couple of times. And she'll find it. She'll put it together and bake a cheesecake. And it's ready to go. So one year, <laughs> I made the mistake of saying, well, I'd like the maple bacon cheesecake from uh, the proper pig. I assumed she'd go and find the recipe. No, no. She went to the restaurant and asked them for a whole cheesecake. And they said they, you know, they could do that and it would be X number of slices. They charged her the menu price per slice for the whole cheesecake. I was mortified. I'm like, mom, that was, no. You, that's what you asked for, so that's what you're getting. I'm like, God. All right, so anyway, never asking my mom for that again. <laughs> it was awesome that she did it, but it was a little bit too much. So, <clears throat> Spuddy Nose, Cherry, Cheesecake, Sour. Sorry, I'm a couple of beers in, so I'm a little bit, you know, chatty. You guys know that if you've seen this anything on this channel before. I'm definitely getting a whiff of cherry. Um, 
And I don't know if I'm getting specifically cheesecake, but there is. I mean, there is something reminiscent of cream cheese in there. Now, <laughs> this is bizarre for a beer to have anything smelling of cheese, but then you normally wouldn't think that's a good thing, but I don't know. I guess the closest I can compare it to is a uh, the roasted garlic alt made by um, Blank Canvas here in Maine. They, they You don't expect to smell garlic from a beer, but it smelled like fucking garlic bread and it tasted amazing. So anyway, a lot of cherry and this it may be a hint of a cream cheese aroma. Cheesy beer. <laughs> it is smooth and creamy with a medium light mouthfeel. It's actually lighter than I expected. It's got a character in terms of the mouthfeel, similar to a milkshake IPA. So that smooth creaminess coming through from the lactose. Um, I've had heavier milkshake IPAs. And I know I'm comparing apples to oranges here, but in terms of the the texture and mouthfeel, it's... Um, how many times can I say mouthfeel in one fucking video? There's one more. Uh, it, it's similar. It's got that smooth creaminess. So I get the milk, the uh, cream, uh, cheesecake part. The flavor, however, is a little odd. Um, I mean, I'm definitely getting cherry. It's not very sour. It's slightly sour, which is fine because if I was going to put cherries on a cheesecake, I'd want them to have that that nice sweet gel, not any sort of sourness to them, except the, the hint of tartness that you get from the actual cherry fruit itself. But what you usually put on a cheesecake is like jellied cherries that are mostly sweet in the gel, and then you know what I'm talking about. And then the cherry itself has that hint of tartness to it. I'm definitely getting a distinct cherry, a hint of tartness in the finish, and somewhere in between there is this like silky, cheesy, cream cheese kind of flavor that is reminiscent of cheesecake. That's different. It's very, very different. I don't know if in a blind taste test I would have said cherry cheesecake on this, but between the label and what I'm actually getting for the flavor, I'm I'm on board with that. I'm on board with that. At least 75%, if not if not fully 100%. So yeah. Okay. I um I know I sound confused throughout this whole video and, and a little skeptical, but I, I think I've got to hit this with a full on five out of five. Um, the bottom line is I saw cherry cheesecake on the label and I was expecting a, um, a disaster, honestly. Cherry cheesecake sour. Um, but what I'm getting here, pardon, is actually something that tastes more like cherry cheesecake than I would have ever guessed it really would. So I am surprised and impressed. And this beer has been a unique experience. So yeah, the fact that it's as close to what it can possibly get, be To a cherry cheesecake in a can, um, and that I am was expecting something worse. I, I'm, like I said, surprised and impressed at the same time. That's what's bumping it up to the full on five out of five in combination with it being a unique experience. I don't think there's another beer out there, at least not that I've come across, that could taste similar to cherry cheesecake in a can. So. 
there you have it. A couple of years from now, between Smutty Nose and some of the other breweries out there, maybe that'll, that'll be different, but for now, that is what it is. Anyway, it's, um, it's a limited release, so get out there if you're in the New England area. I don't know how far uh, Smutty Nose distributes. I know they're in New Hampshire. They're based out of New Hampshire, right? Yep, Hampton, New Hampshire. So um, I know you can find them in most of the New England area, definitely up here in Maine. But yeah, check it out once you have. And it hasn't, it, it still tastes like cherry cheesecake, or at least as close as you're going to get in a beer at this point. So um, and we're halfway through it. So the flavor profile isn't changing. Anyway, go check it out. Um, let me know what you think about it. Hit me up in the comments with the email link. Love to hear what you have to say about this beer. If your experience matches my own, that's great. If not, I still want to hear from you. Because, um, you know, power of suggestion and all that. And everybody's experience is unique. So I still want to know what, what your experience was. Does it match mine? Is it different from mine? It'll help me decide. It'll help me figure out my feelings towards this beer because right now I'm still confused. Anyway, while you're down there, don't forget to like and share the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and then uh, ring the bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new one. Till next time, folks. Um, <laughs> Spidey knows cherry cheesecake. Sour. Very different. Unique. So far in my experience. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.